Hey, so one of the best ways to make money is to actually get really lucky and find a thunderstruck tree. So, you can only grow a certain amount of crops on your farms with them being protected, and hence why players make these secret farms, or illegal farms as they're called. And the best time that I've found to actually go hunting for illegal farms is right after the server maintenance. Because the servers have been offline for several hours, and so now all of those trees are still maturing while the server is offline. And then, you know, people don't always log right back on right when the servers get connected. So you go around and start mountain hopping. We are over here in Windscour, Savanna, and Rockborn Basin up in this area. A lot of people put their secret tree farms up here. So there's also another good reason to do this is because of the thunderstruck chance. So if the trees have been sitting there for a while and matured some, you have a chance of actually getting a thunderstruck tree. And that's mainly the big reason why people do it out in the wild is because they need more land to grow so they can potentially get those thunderstruck trees. If you can find one thunderstruck tree in like, you know, a few hours of searching, that is definitely worth it. Uh, they're a lot rarer than that typically, so you're going to probably go like, you know, a week or so before you find a random thunderstruck tree in someone's illegal hidden farm. Because again, they are very, very RNG. You will find a lot of, uh, a lot of little cool hidden spots up in the mountains and looking down. So you always want to get to like the high points of the mountains. So then you can glide and look down and see everywhere. So here's another uh, pine farm. And this one's almost mature. This is going to mature in about three hours. So if we wanted to, we can come over here and chop all his trees down in about three hours. And get a nice lumber haul there. But again, we're really looking for thunderstruck trees. So you just want to take a real quick gander to see because any one of these could potentially be a thunderstruck tree. It could have already have turned. And then when we come back, it could have turned into a thunderstruck tree as well. So you notice we've already found two hidden pine patches in a few minutes of searching. Then you always want to keep an eye on the lower level ground, stay high in the air. To get the far off places like this that are about the same elevation, you do want to hold back on the glider. So you can see we're actually forcing the glider back, which means we're holding our elevation and we're not really descending. We go a little bit slower. But that's also a good thing because that's going to help you with your cooldowns. The slower you go, the more cooldowns or the more uh, skills you're going to be able to use. And you do want to use the somersault skills because they do actually help you get higher in the air. So a thunderstruck tree would look something similar to like this, like a burnt crisp tree, for those that haven't seen it. It's a lot tinier. And 
go over here. This might be a, a nice little spot, even though I don't see anything on it. You may have to get actually closer for the, you know, trees and shrubs to actually render. So nothing on it. So you can almost plant anywhere uh, in the game. There's very, very few limitations where you can actually plant your stuff. You can't plant on rocks. So this is all potential land that someone could plant on. That's why it's worthwhile to check these areas to see if there are any hidden farms out here. The lower to the ground level you go, the less likely you're going to find a hidden farm. And that's just due to the fact that, you know, it's easier to spot. So it doesn't look like there's anything else in this region. So right now we've already gone pretty much most of the mountains between the Falcon Plains, the Rockborn Basin, and the Windscor Savannah. Again, we found two of them. They aren't mature, so we can't really chop them down to get any lumber out of it. And then the lumber prices has also tanked quite a bit, so it may not even be worthwhile to chop down those trees and only just look for the thunderstruck trees. Again, you always want to get to the highest point you can find, glide off. And you get a beautiful aerial view of everything around you. So we're going to try and go way over here. And unfortunately, all the gliders right now have a three-minute uh, max fly time. There are a couple gliders out there. The, the Kraken glider specifically has an unlimited or a ten-minute timer on it. So that would greatly help your flight distance and being able to get to these far-off places. So you can see it looks like we're going to make it. We have around a minute and a half left. We are high enough, so now I'm going to start pushing uh, pushing forward to make the glider go faster. And you can see there's already a hidden forest over here. So those are yew trees. Those are almost at maturity. Any tree can become a thunderstruck tree. So you just got to make sure you take a look in here and see if there are any thunderstruck trees. 
because again, that Thunderstruck tree is worth, you know, nearly a thousand gold right now, and the prices have been steadily increasing. So this one right here is going to be ready in 22 seconds. 22 seconds. So these guys are just about ready to be harvested. Two minutes, three minutes. So if I did want lumber, I could come over here and chop down these trees and get a nice lumber haul. We'll come back here in a few minutes to see if the owner actually came back and to see if any of these actually propped into a thunderstruck tree uh, when they turned into actually the full grown trees. So now I've never actually been over here to like the Arctic Mountain area. I would assume that you can't plant on it because it is like a rock and it is also like ice type based maybe. Or at least colored, um, colored ice based. So now we're all the way over in Hernier Runes area. You can see it looks like one lone tree up there. So it looks like someone planted a tree up here. Yeah. Just like they planted one single tree up here, and then someone stole all their other trees. So he might have accidentally been trying to like test if he can plant something here. And you see, this doesn't look to be a very secure place because it's fairly low to the ground, uh, meaning most people can probably get to this fairly easily. So yeah, so you can't, typically you can't place on rocks, and it looks like you can't place on this white rock thing either. Yeah, most often though you can place in this like gravel area. So if it looks kind of like um, sandy, you can typically place there. You can see we can place our tree right here, so we can get a couple trees right there if wanted. Typically, when you are doing a secret farm, you want to have a large area so you can plant a whole bunch of them. Oh. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get up any further than this. We're going to have to wait for our glider skills. We might actually be able to get up further. And if we can't get up further this way, there's going to be another way to get up. And we actually were able to get up. There's all like there's always a way. If there's if there's something you want to get to in this game, like climb to or get to the top to, you can you can get up there if you just figure out how. So we are on top of the ice mountain. And again, we can't place. This stuff you might typically be able to place on. Uh, you can see this one is not able to be placed on. So it does is a bad sign for if you're finding areas that you can't actually place trees or any crops on, uh, most likely the whole area is going to be that you can't place trees or crops, so that means that people aren't going to have hidden farms up here because it's the game is not allowing you to actually place anything. Like so, we can typically climb that mountain, so you can see the effects are snowing up here.
Again, it doesn't look like there's any area over here that is plantable for any living crops. So now we are over in the very bottom of Rockborn Basin, right around here. As we move further over here into the right, it's going to be unreleased territory, and there's actually going to be, um, you know, signs that say you can't go that far. The red X's you may have seen on your travels. Sometimes you can actually go past those red X signs, though. So I think we'll be able to get up here to this area and then kind of hop behind this mountain here. Again, we are holding back so um, our flight's time is not really going too much. And we missed it. So now we have to try and fly up. able to get up there. A lot of times you can get up to places by just jumping. So you test and see if we can plant any crops over here. Can't plant any crops. Go over here. And you can see this is unreleased content. Uh, too dangerous. There is no red X signs over here. So we are going to try and turn around. And unfortunately it kicked us out. If you do not turn around fast enough, the game actually kicks you out of the region. And it takes you back to like a, a Nui statue or Nui shrine. So unfortunately we went a little bit too far over there. We'll actually head back to that U farm. Check on that farm, see if the owner came back, see if it may turn into Thunderstruck. And then that will be the conclusion of our journey. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I know a lot of people probably haven't been up in the uh, snowy mountains over there. I know, like I said, that was the very first time I've ever been to the snowy mountain. So you can't actually get up that way. You have to go over here.
So you can see getting to some of these places is quite complex. There are multiple different ways that you can get to these places. But again, that's why people call them secret farms because they are, you know, quite complex and they do take some time to figure out how to get to these areas. And that was a big fail. So much that we ended up dying. So we are way over here, and it actually put us way over here. And the secret farm is like right over here in this mountain area. So we're going to go take a look over here and see if there's any way to climb up these mountains from, from the base here. So again, it doesn't look too high. You can see right there and there, it's not that high of an elevation. We should be able to make this jump right here. And we'll probably be able to just hop up this mountain. We might be able to make that. And we missed. So it looks like we're not going to end up actually making it back up there. I'm going to call it quits. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the little adventure into the secret farms and mountain hopping. And thanks for watching.